Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video of Dynamic 365 series, we are going to discuss on views in in, in model driven app, right? So views is nothing simply let's say you want to see any records by default whenever you create any trial instance or anything, you'll be able to see some uh, default views here, active contacts, inactive contacts and all, where we have the full name, email, company name and all so these views we can simply go to the make.powerapps.com and uh, here you can create the views correct but in this video we are not going to talk about this general view okay we are going to see how we can create a personal view using advanced find right advanced find and how we can share this view to particular users let's say i have created one view in the advanced find okay Mm -mm. let's say here okay just to give you an example i have created a view called june 18a okay and this is personal view and i want to say this view to let's say a uh, sales department and uh, the manager and the team leader right so how to say a personal view to any users so these things we are going to see also there is a restriction on the view on the advanced find of personal view there is a restriction that you cannot import it into the solution this means whenever you click on add existing in the solution and you try to add the view the advanced find view the or the personal view will not appear here so for that we have a different way to import or to move any personal view from developer environment to uet environment or production environment so all these things we are going to cover in this video now to give you an uh, overview of views first of all this is my solution and let's go let's say you have an entity called account or let's say we have contact right so if you go to contact uh, we have another we already have one view called test contact or you can create a create one simply what we do is we just drag and drop the fields whatever we want right and we create it just click on save and publish so this is a general view and in order to move this view from test uh, from developer environment to uh, that production environment you can simply import the solution and export the solution this is how it works okay this is the first point second point is let's say I this view I want to share with uh, the sales team members for that we do not have any option to share with with any team members see I have selected this view okay and if you see here we have the option of set as default view or if you go to advance we have other options to remove to turn off and all but not there is no any option to share the view okay in that scenario what you are, we are going to do is I am going to create a advanced view like which is called a personal view so for that just go to your advanced setting in the advanced setting we have this icon advanced find icon let's select this one and here i'm just going with okay let me go with account itself so go with contact we have two accounts so if we come here contacts and i'm going to add some random columns here okay and click on results cool so i have created this personal view which i want to share with uh, let's say test one user and test two users or a different teams a team which have some 20 members only to those people so what I am going to do is first of all I am going to save this view okay sorry this advanced find I am going to save as here and give a name as uh, share share view share view okay click on save okay now if you come on saved views you'll be able to see let me just one second results to advance find save view okay maybe you need to refresh it okay you can see the share view here now if i go here in the app section where is that app okay let me just refresh it and 
check if that share view option is available here or not. Also, I'm going to show you, I have logged in with a different user called test1 here and test2 here. Okay. And I have also installed XRM toolbox to show you how we can transfer the view from one environment to another environment. Okay. That one I'll cover in another video, but as of now, I've just, just kept it open. So now in, let's say this is test2 user. If you come here, you can see there is no any share view, right, which we created. But if we come here and see in this one, you can see we have the share view right now here, correct? Share view is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this one with a, a team and with the individual user. So for that, what we need to do is we have the advanced find here. Okay, not this one. Coming here, go there, go to your save views, select this one. And we have the option of share here, share icon, right? So click on this. Once you click on this, we have an option of add use, add user or team. You can share with either a particular user or with the team. So if I click on this, I'm going to share with both the users and a team, right? So user, I'm just checking. We have test, test one user, select add okay now the thing is whether you want them to read give the read access write access delete access whatever you can configure here so right now i'm just going to give all these permissions click on share this is for test one user right so if i come here this is this one is test one and this is test two so let's check here whether he is able to see or not in test one You can see the share view is available here. Okay. Now, if I come to the test two user, which is here, test two, if, if I'm going to give a hard refresh, and if we see, you can see there is no that share view is not available here. So, in that scenario, let's say if he is a team member of one team, okay member of one team what we are going to do is same way we are going to share this view with a team okay just come here click on add and instead of team user we are going to select team team one select okay click on add i'm going to give read write delete assign whatever make sure the user is a is a part of that team and then he will be able to see that in his views as well so this is how you are going to share any view okay now there are other ways as all well which i checked it one second let me show you hide views in dynamics 365 based on based on user let's see this one Actually, uh, while while doing the research, I found one one uh, one second one uh, blog where he had written. The user has written on executing a plugin code, on and with the plugin code we can show or hide the views based on the user roles or uh, security roles. But when I tried that, it was not happening. Even I tried multiple ways, it was not ha happening. So the best way is simply create a personal view here in the advanced find hold on it's hanging simply create any view in the advanced find and share with your user or teams now once you have shared it he or she will be able to see it now the problem comes whenever uh, this is a test environment and now we are moving this views from test to production environment that time it is you have to try a different approach you, what you need to do is let's say uh, now I have a different solution. See, this is uh, which solution? August solution. Okay. Now, whatever the view we have created, I want to export it here. So, if you see here, there is no any shared views. We do not have it. Okay. So, for this, we need to use an XRM toolbox, which is here. Okay. And in this one, we are going to connect the source, source and the target. And then here, we'll be able to see uh, the, the personal views here. 
and after that here we have this load personal views once you do do this one here we have the option to migrate so that one we are going to see in the next video how to do all those things okay meanwhile if you have any other doubts feel free to comment it also if you want to know more on the uh, on dynamics 365 you can simply go to my channel called power dynamics and you can see we have different videos uploaded here little bit of javascript grid power automate sharepoint and all also i have a blog which you can refer if you want to learn more so that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye